it's Jamila from by pink and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a split layer monogram and how to add the little fl fancy flourishes to it but before we get started um, I want you to go ahead and smash the subscribe button and turn on the little bell notification make sure that you don't ever miss a tutorial let's get right into it so the first thing you want to do is choose your first letter I'm going to choose my the first initial of my last name and capitalize it and make it bigger so that we can see it and then I'm just going to use the Cricut Sans font um, you can choose whatever font you want um, you can choose fonts just from that are already saved and downloaded to your computer you can use Cricut access fonts if you have Cricut access or other fonts um, the free Cricut fonts or you can find one that you really like and download you can also find split monogram fonts out there making your own gives you a little bit more design freedom so the next thing I'm gonna do is type out my last name and I'm gonna do that in all caps And the new kerning feature is supposed to spray space your letters the way that they should be spaced or seen and obviously this hasn't spaced my letters correctly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ungroup the letters and then move them to where i want them to be and just to make sure that they're all even, I'm going to select them all, go up here to align, distrib distribute horizontally, and then make sure that they're aligned at the bottom. And then weld them back together. So now I have my name for the middle of my split level design. And... I am going to go ahead and make this the size that I want to or that I'm going to want it. I want it about make it just a little bit smaller. The next thing you're going to do is choose a square shape. Unlock it and make it I'm gonna move it to the back so that I can see and to do that just go up to arrange send to back and I'm gonna make it the same size or just a little bit bigger than the text in my name I'm gonna turn off the I'm going to turn off the layer with my full name select both my rectangle shape and the letter P go up here to align and click on center I want it right in the center of my letter and P's and R's and things like that are a little bit hard so I'm gonna actually move this up just a little bit so that we keep the the integrity of our letter so now select the shape and the letter and then click slice and that makes your letter into three different pieces you can get rid of the or four different pieces is what it split it to you can get rid of the pieces that you don't need we're going to grab another square, unlock it, and this square is going to be thin and long. Make it just a bit longer. And you can um, 
position it where you want it to. You can align it to the center horizontally. That needs to be moved up just a little bit more. And I'm going to duplicate that before I weld these two together. Now I'm just going to select that layer and this layer for now and click weld so let me blow this up a little bit my rectangle or thin line isn't connected to my letter so I am going to go back select this and move it up I want it overlapping a bit I am going to recenter it horizontally and then weld it again. There we go. Now I'm going to move this layer to the back and position this one where I want it to be. And make sure it's overlapping your letter. Select bow, align, center horizontally and well so now we have our split layer monogram you can stop there but it looks kind of plain you can stop here um, with fancier fonts it'll look a little bit fancier or you can also add like florals and flourishes to make it just a little bit fancier so, um, to do that, you're going to go to images and I'm going to search vines or vine. See what we can find here. Um, design space has quite a bit that you can use in your designs to create your design. Let's try this image set and I'm just going to select a couple that I like <clears throat> and then figure out which ones I want to use in my design once I get there so I've chosen four and all four have um, a couple different designs in them make this just a little bit smaller and I think this is the one that I would use but or maybe this one I like this one a little bit better so I'm going to turn the rest of these off just to see and I am going to ungroup those and you just take your little florals and place them how you think you want them in your design. Remember when you're placing them that you're also going to weld at the end so um, anything that is overlapping you won't see. And I'm going to select all of these and duplicate And just keep placing them and you just have to play with it a little bit um, to see what you what you like I think that's all we're gonna add let's get rid of everything that I'm not using that'll make this next part a little bit easier I'm turning off my name and then I'm selecting everything else and I'm going to click will and there we have a split level or split layer monogram you, it's in two layers still so you can change these colors to whatever you want depending on your project 
thanks for watching hopefully my split level or layer monogram tutorial was helpful to you let me know what you think down in the comments also if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button